what's up guys welcome to my channel if you haven't done so already please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and consider hitting the notification bell if you'd like to keep up and you know stay up to date with every new video that i upload um with that being said we're gonna hop into my computer and we're gonna go ahead and start building and creating and designing our new landing page using the divi builder on wordpress so without further ado let's hop into the video and see you guys in there all right welcome back so right now we're gonna look at how to set up our landing page so this is my wordpress dashboard right here um i already have the dv theme set up and i'm assuming you've done so already and of course if you haven't please go ahead and install divi <coughs> Excuse me. so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go ahead and create a new page i'm gonna go up top here and i'm gonna click on new page for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to name it landing page tutorial I'm gonna come to the right here and I'm gonna take off this right sidebar because I want it to be a blank page I'm also gonna scroll down and I'm gonna take off the default template the default template actually adds your header and your footer to the page so I'm gonna click on blank page to make sure we have an absolutely blank page all right so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click on use Divi builder and also I do prefer using the visual builder so I'm gonna use the visual builder alright so we're not gonna do any of these pre-made layouts or these existing pages we're just gonna go ahead and start building from scratch okay so right here if you're not familiar with Divi what you get is when you start from scratch you get what you well what I call blocks and then within those blocks you have rows within those rows you have these modules And these modules range from, you know, like anywhere from text to portfolios to, to email opt-ins. There's a lot you can do with these modules. Uh, what we'll be really focusing on will be the text, um, maybe the call to action module, and definitely the email opt-in. Those are going to be the modules that we're going to be using the most. And of course, the button. Um, that we're going to be using the most to make our landing pages but for this specific landing page that we're making in this video um all we'll really be using is the email opt-in okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to come up here to this little settings bar right here for this block i'm going to click on it to edit the background of the block what i'm going to do is i'm going to add an image to the background so if i come here to the section settings I come over to background this will be for the background color this little tab is for if you wanted to add a gradient to the background like so um, I'm gonna take that out and this is for for images and this is for videos okay so I'm gonna come here to images I've already uploaded an image that I wanted to use which is this one right here I'm gonna click on OK and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to edit the size of this block so essentially what I'm doing when I'm scrolling like this is I'm editing the padding of the top part and the bottom part of this section. Um, if I wanted to do this another way, I can come back here to settings, go to design, go to spacing. And as you can see here, you can customize the padding from inside these settings. And you can see these numbers here have grown and that's because I've played with it from the outside. Okay, so I'm just going to keep playing with it from the outside. And that looks pretty good to me so I'm going to edit this middle um, well not middle. I'm gonna edit this row right here these little bars right here well of course you know this is the settings this would be to duplicate it right I'm gonna delete because I don't want to duplicate it this would be to change the layout of the row so if you wanted it if you wanted a different layout for the row that that would be what you would click this would be to save the row to your library but right now we just need this right here and I'm gonna use this layout right here because I want my email opt-in to be pretty centered. I'm gonna click on new and I'm gonna find email opt-in. There it is. All right, now we have an email opt-in. I'm just gonna click okay for now so we can look at the layout. Now we have an email opt-in that looks pretty decent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit it to fit um, our liking basically, right? So I'm gonna click on this little settings icon. This is, when you see these gray bars, they're for the module that you're looking at. The green is for the row and the blue is for the, the whole section, all right? So we're gonna edit the email opt-in itself. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna add a random title here. Uh, travel at your pace. We're gonna change the subscribe text to say sign up. I'm gonna leave this extra content here. You can add whatever you want or you can take it out completely if you want. That's completely up to you in terms of how you want to market your product or whatever you're selling. And of course, to make this email opt-in work properly, we would need to come here to email account and you would have to find your email service provider. So whichever one of these you're using, I know like the popular ones, Aweber, um, MailChimp, I'm pretty sure there's more popular ones in here, but I use MailChimp personally, so that's the only one I'm really familiar with. So you would come here and you would connect your MailChimp account and then you would select what list you want to add the people that sign up to this um, email opt-in get added to all right so if your MailChimp MailChimp is not yet connected to your um, your website which mine isn't because this is a test website you would simply just need to come here and click on add add your MailChimp account name and your MailChimp account key if you need help finding them you can just click on this link right here all right, then, then when you click on submit, you can come back here, refresh this page, and once you do the same exact process again, your list will pop up. All right, so once you've done that, your email opt-in form will be completely functional. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna design it to look a little bit more pleasing to my eye. Um, why is this, why is this happening? Okay, I'm gonna cancel this. All right, so yeah, we're gonna come here to design. All right. I want to put my body on the top and the form on the bottom. I don't want these fields to be full full width except for the email just because I like the way that looks. Let's see what else I want to do here. I'm going to edit the title text. I'm going to make it really, really bold, ultra bold. Make sure it's all centered. That looks good. I'm going to give it some drop shadow. Nah, I'll take that off. I'm going to make it a little bigger. That looks nice. So if I come here to body, I'm gonna edit the body text, center that also. All right, I'm gonna leave the button the way it looks. You're gonna edit that at your own, you know, personal liking. Okay, so another thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come back here to, oh, let's go back to settings. I'm gonna come back here to the form background. I don't really like the background. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna decrease the opacity make it fit in with the rest of this picture all right that doesn't look too bad now I'm gonna edit the border because I want it to be a little bit rounded I'll come here to border I'm gonna say here let's say 20 see how that looks oh, 20 excuse me that doesn't look too bad all right cool so it's looking good so far um, I'm not really looking how grainy the background is looking it's not really looking too appealing to me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to background and I'm gonna say background image blend I'm gonna say overlay so essentially what this is doing is this is taking whatever background color or gradient you have here and it's gonna overlay it over your background image I'm gonna put a gradient I'm gonna click on add so right now we have the gradient overlaying the image all right, so I'm just gonna edit these colors a little bit. I'm gonna decrease this opacity here. I'm gonna come to this color right here. Make it a little darker. Decrease the opacity. No, no, you know what, let's make it brighter. And let's increase the opacity a little bit. All right, doesn't look too bad. And I'm gonna play with the positions a little bit of the gradient. I shouldn't have to click this again. Yeah, so we're gonna leave it off because that looks a little bit better to me. So I'm just gonna click OK from now and this is it. There we go. We have ourselves a nice looking landing page that's suitable for any customer's eyes. Once they click sign up, they should be redirected to whatever page that we put in the success action. Okay, so if we click back on settings here, we come back to the email opt-in settings, we come here to success action. You can either choose to display a message 
All right, so as soon as they enter their information and they click sign up, you can say thanks or whatever your message is, or you can come down here and redirect them to a URL. So if you want them to land on a different page, like let's say, you know, a payment page or whatever other page you want to lead them to or a download page, let's say you, they enter their information for an uh, ebook, um, you can enter the link to the download page for the ebook right here. And once they enter their information, they'll be redirected to that link. All right. So that would be how you complete your landing page setup. So now all you really have to do is come down here to this little middle button here and you just click on publish and once you've published it your landing page will now be active up and running and all you would need to do is find the link in your dashboard go to pages find the link and you should be all set up to go all right so thank you for watching all right that concludes our video for today thank you guys for sticking around and watching the whole video if you've made it this far um so i'll be making a lot more videos like this on how to create landing pages and other types of you know um sites using dv and wordpress but if you do want to you know stay in touch and and keep up with the landing page videos please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a brand new video so with that being said um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.